In this lesson, we are going to do a test of significance for the population proportion P on the TI calculator. This problem was previously done all by hand in the video named Significance Test for a Population Proportion. All of the steps that were done there are identical to the steps done using the TI calculator. The TI calculator can help you find your Z test statistic and your P value. But everything else that is included in the problem that was done by hand must be included in the problem even if you use the TI calculator. Here's the problem. The community college in your town is having a difficult time accommodating parking for all of its 3,000 students. The college believes that a smaller percentage of students carpools to school as compared to the national average. According to the 2000 U.S. Census Bureau estimates, it is believed that 12.2 percent of all Americans carpool to work. The college takes a random sample of 130 students and finds that 12 of the students carpool to school. Is the school's belief supported by this sample? We will do a test of significance. P, our population parameter, equals the proportion of college students who carpool to school. Our null hypothesis is that P, the proportion of students carpooling to school, is equal to 0.122, or 12.2%. The alternative is a one-sided alternative because the college believes that the percentage carpooling to their college is less than the national average. So the alternative is that P is less than 12.2%. The proportion of students carpooling is less than 12.2%. The conditions necessary to do this test of significance are we must have a simple random sample. We're told that the school selected a random sample. We will assume that that random sample is a simple random sample. N times P naught has to be greater than or equal to 10, and N times 1 minus P naught has to be greater than, greater than or equal to 10. You can verify those two conditions, and those, that condition is met. We have to have a large population. The size of the population has to be at least 10 times the size of the sample. It is, in fact, true for this problem. You need to write the formula for your Z test statistic, which equals your sample proportion P hat minus P naught divided by the square root of P naught times 1 minus P naught over N. Now let's put the data into the calculator and have the calculator cal calculate our Z, t Z test statistic for us. On the calculator, we want to go to STAT, over to TESTS, down to number 5, one proportion Z test. We need to give it P naught. And our problem is 0 0.122, 0 0.122. How many successes did we have in our sample? We had 12 successes. What was our sample size? 130. Do we want to do a two-sided alternative, alternative? One sided low or one sided high? We want the one sided low. So hit enter. We want to test, our alternative should be less than P naught. Now we're ready to calculate. We see that our test statistic is negative 1.03. Negative 1.03. We should write down what P hat equals. The calculator gives us P hat. It's equal to 0 0.092 or 9.2 percent. We know P naught is 0.122, so let's just write P naught equals 0. P naught is 0 0.122, and N is 130. So now we have our test statistic of negative 1.03. We want the P value. We see that the calculator also gives us the P value of 0 0.1505. When we calculated the p-value in the previous problem, when we did this whole problem by hand, we got a p-value of 0.1515. The calculator is giving us 0.1505. The difference is the calculator is using a test statistic of negative 1.03439986. We used a test statistic of just negative 1.03. So that is why the p-value is a little bit different than what the calculator gives because of um, 
rounding and how many decimal places are used in our test statistic. Even when you use the calculator to help you find your test statistic and your p-value, you still want to sketch the p-value and you want to finish with your English conclusion. Our English conclusion is because our p-value of 0.1515 is rather large, what does a p-value of 0.1515 mean? It means that 15% of the time we would see a sample proportion like we saw of 9% or something more extreme if the null hypothesis is in fact true. If the proportion of students on campus that are carpooling to school is the same as the national average or 12.2 percent. Because of the lar rather large p-value, we fail to reject the null hypothesis that the proportion of students carpooling equals 12.2 percent. So this problem was done previously straight through by hand. The TI calculator can be used to help find the test statistic Z and also the p-value for your test, but all the other steps must be included in the problem.